All the things I haven't done as a self-published author is the topic of today's video. Now, the reason for this video is to show you that even though I haven't done all these things, I have still managed to write and publish four novels. I am in the process of publishing my fifth novel and I am a writer. I am a published author, regardless of all these other things that I haven't done. Full disclaimer here though, these are some of the things that I still want to do, that I want to do in the future, that I plan to do in the future, or that I have tried in the past and for some reason or other it didn't just happen. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I have made a list here, so I will be referencing my list. So the very first thing I have on my list is I've never sold any of my books in person. I have products that I can sell in person and I have not done that ever. But yet I have managed to sell a bunch of books on KDP, have thousands of KDP um, pages read. So I am still selling books. I sell books on TikTok. I am constantly selling books. I just have never done it in person. Along those same lines, I have never done obviously a signing. I have never done any signings of my books in person. Another thing I have never done is I've never done a reading of my book in person. I read a little blurb online here once. I have a YouTube video. I'll link it below if you want to check it out. It is the most uncomfortable thing in the world. I can't imagine a time in my life where I'm actually going to do that. And I know as authors, we're expected to do that, but I am not comfortable doing that at all. I have a severe fear of public speaking. So this is like my worst nightmare. And that's probably why I haven't really pushed to do these in person things. When I was in North Carolina, I did have a book signing scheduled for a little um, bookstore. It was the cutest little thing. And but because of COVID, I think there was like a second round of COVID, they ended up canceling it because they didn't want to have people, a lot of people in the store. So they ended up canceling that book signing. And yeah, I was bummed, but I was a nervous wreck leading up to that day because I can't, I can't do public speaking. So I don't know how I'm going to overcome this. And that moment is actually rapidly approaching because my next release, as you guys probably know already, it's my Christmas novel, which I'll be releasing later this year. And I'll be moving to Georgia and I have a big plan for a release at this particular place and I know there's gonna be a lot of people there and I know a lot of, I have a lot of support there and I'll tell you this I will not be doing a reading <laughs> I may be doing signings and I may sell my books in person but I will not be reading aloud so I don't know how I'm ever going to overcome that so anyways the next thing that I have never done I have never sold my books in an actual bookstore so I have never taken my books in and done a consignment or I've talked about it I, there was a, when I was living in Georgia before I had talked to a local bookstore and they said that I could bring my books in and I could do it, but I never did it. So my books are only sold online. Another thing I have never done is I have never collaborated with other writers on any live streams. I have never done it here on YouTube or Instagram. And I know that a lot of self-published authors do that a lot. I also don't do live streams at all. I think I've done it twice. I did it once when I released uh, between us and it was during COVID and I think I did it one other time and I was again a nervous wreck because recording is one thing but being live and it just makes me super nervous so I've never really done the live thing as far as collaborating with other writers or like any live streams as like write with me sprints I've never done any of that so that's not good on me because that's a good way to just you know, be in tune with my community and spend some time with my community. So that one is actually one that I do plan on doing in the future. Another thing I have not done is I have not collaborated with other authors on email exchanges. I know that is sometimes a good way to swap out books. Like for example, if I had a community of authors that were romance writers that were in my same vain releasing books at the same time or even just it doesn't even have to be at release time it could be at any time i could say we could be in a chain of authors like five or ten authors because i've seen it that way and each author is giving away a book to each of the author's audiences so that is a great marketing technique that i have not participated in that i want to take part in that in the future i just don't even know where to begin honestly so 
stay tuned if that's something that you guys might be interested in because I'll share my process as I go forward. It's really something that I would really like to do. So the next thing I have not done is I haven't contacted libraries for them to request my books. I think that's the way you do it. I don't even know you guys like I'm telling you I've been self-published since 2012 and I'm still learning like I think we're always learning the things new things keep happening new things keep you know popping up in the marketing world that we just have to be in the know of that I just I am so much in my little bubble like in the online bubble that sometimes I just I'm scared to just step out of it, you know, like I don't even know how and it just overwhelms me. But that is something that I intend on doing. The next thing that I have never done is because I've never done an a in-person signing of my books or sold my books in person, I have never really ordered the merchandise that comes with that book signing like sometimes you see somebody having like a banner that has the author name and the books or like a poster i've never done that but i will be designing that in the future so again if that's something that you guys want to see make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and i just wanted to mention something really quick in order for my channel to just get to the next level and just reach a bigger audience i would really appreciate it if you guys would just give this video a like or drop a comments even if it's like an emoji like a book emoji or a typewriter emoji or a computer emoji just so that the algorithm picks up that you guys are engaging with me i would really appreciate it and i am so happy i, I never stop and say this but i have been on youtube now for like five years i think it is and i haven't always been super consistent i have been consistent for a little while and then i stopped because of personal issues but you guys have always stuck around you know the, the ones that are here you guys have always stuck around and i'm really appreciative of you so i just want to take this moment to say thank you another thing i've never done as a self-published author is i've never created a collector's edition or a special edition for any of my books but again that is something I want to do in the future. I just really don't even know where to start. So that is something I just have to look into. Another thing I've never done for my books is I've never created character art. That is something that I'm really interested in. I don't know if I'll do it for the books that are already released, but I would love to do it for the Christmas novel that's coming up and include that in the PR box. So that is something that I'll be looking into in the future. The next thing I've never done as a self-published author is I've never had my books translated into a different language. That sounds daunting. <laughs> that sounds really like stressful to me and i would like to do that maybe sometime in the future but i don't even know where to begin but that is a i think a good way to generate additional income for your books so that it may be something that i look into in the future especially since my first language is spanish I would love to have my books translated in Spanish. It's something I would have loved to have done while my mom was still here so that she could have read my novels. So yeah, so those are the things that I have never done as a self-published author, but still I am writing and publishing and just succeeding in my own way. I just think some of these things will just take me to the next level, especially some of the things that I'm thinking about doing in person. That way it just takes me a little bit of the online world and I can start meeting with like fans and readers in person. So yeah, those are some of the things that I haven't done as a self-published author that I intend on doing in the future. If you like videos like this, make sure you check this video out next and I will see you in the next one. Until then, God bless you.